Welcome to our lecture online. What does it mean if they give us an ordered pair and ask us if it's the solution to an equation? Well, here we have an example. We're given the ordered pair 6, 4, and we're asked if it's the solution, the solution to this particular equation. Well, what do we have here? Well, notice we have two ordered pairs on the coordinate system. Right here, we have the ordered pair negative 2, 0, and the ordered pair 4 and 3. And if I connect those two points, which are represented by the ordered pairs, I have a line. And then, if I find the equation of the line, which is what we have right here, then we have a line, an equation of a line that represents this line, which is defined by those two ordered pairs. Now, if I want to find if this ordered pair is a solution to that equation representing that line, what I'm actually asking is if this point represented by this ordered pair is on the line represented by this equation. So that's what, essentially what we're asking. If an ordered pair is a solution to an equation, we're simply asking is the point associated with that ordered pair on the line represented by that equation. Now we haven't shown you yet how to take this line and turn it into this equation. Now notice that this equation is what we're calling the slope-intercept form. The one half is the slope, and the one is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. You can see here that it crosses where y equals 1. Now, if we multiply both sides of the equation by 2, then we get 2y equals x plus 2. And then if we take the x and move it to the left side, we get minus x plus 2y equals 2. We now turn the equation representing this line from the slope-intercept form into the general form of that linear equation. So now we're going to verify if this ordered pair, which of course is the representation of a point on the plane, is a solution to that equation. So let's write down the equation. Minus x plus 2y is equal to 2. Now we take the x value, plug it in here, and we take the y value and plug it in there. Let's see what happens. So we have minus 6 plus 2 times 4. Is that equal to 2? And of course, that's a question mark. If it is, then it's the solution, or a solution, not the solution, because there are many, many solutions. It's not a singular solution. Now, let's check this out. So we have minus 6 plus 8. Is that indeed equal to 2? And sure enough, 2 equals 2. So we verified that, yes, that is a solution for that particular equation. Let's try our next point, 1 and 2. So again, let's write down the equation. Minus x plus 2y equals to 2. We plug in 1 for x, so we get minus 1 plus 2 times. We plug in 2 for y, and is that equal to 2? Whoop, 2, question mark. And I don't believe so. We get minus 1 plus 4. Is that equal to 2? And we get 3 equals to 2, and of course, that's not the case. So the second ordered pair, 1 and 2, which represents a point on the plane, is not a solution to that equation. Let's find our two points and see what we have. So we need to make this line a little bit longer. Here's our 6. Let's go up here. And then here, this is the number 4. So this is indeed the point 6, 4. And you can see that that is indeed on the line. So therefore, that was a solution. And the next point, 1 and 2, we have 1 here. We have 2 there. And notice the point 1, 2 is not on the line, and therefore that was not a solution. And that's what we mean by looking for a solution, to see, looking for or verifying whether or not a point, represented by an ordered pair, is a solution to an equation. In essence, is it on the line represented by that equation? And that is how it's done.